So in this post, I want to talk a little bit about using the content query web part wisely. One of the things that we tend to do, and actually one of the coolest features I personally think in SharePoint is the ability to use a content query web part to roll up information from different sites that have similar types of content and display them to the end user in one rolled up list. Obviously one of the most perfect examples of that is uh, tasks where I could be assigned multiple tasks down the hierarchy of a site structure and have some kind of roll up there. But one of the things I've seen is that people don't really spend a lot of time doing anything with this. They don't really differentiate them and a lot of times these tend to come out a little bit blah in there and confusing. So what you see in front of us here is an announcement list and this is actually rolling up from multiple sites and one of the important things is, is that actually for this particular organization big monkey business they have both internal and public announcements otherwise internal that's to the organization and public that is actually to their clients on their different client sites and that and they roll it all up into one announcement list so this is something commonly you see where things that uh, should maybe be segregated and separated out for a little bit more clarity are kind of mashed up into one I see that all the time with task lists where all the tasks are rolled up into one unified view and like that instead of segmenting them out into different groups and that so a really good easy tip is just to think about how to do this wisely and to really think about what you're doing so one of the things is to segment down the information better just because you can roll up 500 things doesn't mean that it makes sense to roll up those 500 things maybe it's making sense to roll up those 500 things but segment them by metadata by something that can be there so that you can have a little bit more clarity around the information information you're seeing. And so you see on this one actually we're, we're separating out uh, announcements that have been tagged as public, otherwise something that is going to be showing to the clients and to internal. Now this is a very simplistic perception of this, but overall you think about it like let's say it was tasks and we had, you know, tasks as they're starting, tasks in progress, tasks completed. Instead of rolling it up into one big list, sometimes putting some separation, sometimes really understanding what the users really need can really help out.